all these pieces of equipment, the big pieces of equipment, have uh, shielding requirements. And uh, these, are, these two are very specific. And in most cases, the actual manufacturer is not the person that's going to determine the shielding requirements. So you actually have to hire a nuclear physicist, which sounds bizarre, but um, in fact you do. And, and they develop uh, a, a report and recommendations based on uh, where the piece of equipment is located, uh, what's adjacent to it, um, how often you're using the piece of equipment, um, and what the piece of equipment is, you know, what, 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 what year and what make it is again. So uh, all these combine to make for a very specific requirements. And, and the sooner you can track this information down and get it to your architect, the sooner you're going to be able to lock to this and, and more importantly, you're going to be able to avoid, you know, backing up in, in the process.